What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka The Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. In today's Minecraft Mod Showcase, we're going to be taking a look at the Minecraft Morph Mod. This mod is hilarious. It literally lets you change into any mob in the whole of the Minecraft game. So I could become a sheep, I could become an enderman, I could become a zombie, literally anything in the game, and use the abilities that that mob has. But there's also some downsides, because certain mobs are weak to certain things. So for an example, a zombie is weak to sunlight, light and an enderman is weak to water so it makes things a little bit more interesting here so let's try out what it's like to play as the different mobs in minecraft and not play as steve so you may see that I've taken the liberty to spawn absolutely tons of sheep around here. I don't know why I spawned tons of sheep, but it'll make things a little bit more interesting when we play around with these mobs and meddle around with stuff. So like I said before, each mob has a few different upsides and downsides. So I'll try and put a picture on the screen right now of all the different abilities, both positive and negative, that the different mobs have. So the first one which we're going to try out is going to be the Enderman. So with the square brackets on the keyboard, you bring up this menu and you can just press the square brackets to go up and down. I've taken the liberty to unlock every single mob already because I've basically killed all these mobs. Now to unlock a morph, to actually use it, you have to kill a mob and then it will actually give you that morph. So you have to basically kill the mobs to actually become the mobs, which is kind of weird. It's some kind of Thanos thing going on here. So we will just select the morph with the square brackets and go down and we'll select the Enderman. And you can see it has the water drop with a cross over it and then a little icon below, which has a zombie. So the water drop with a cross on it means that he takes damage when in contact with water. So that's his weakness. And that's basically the water allergy. And then the zombie is the hostile. So, so basically the Enderman won't be attacked by hostile mobs. So, as you can see, we're playing as an Enderman right now. So, you can see, we're just chilling as our Enderman, just walking around, just minding our own business. Now, with this mod, although we do have basic abilities, you do actually need to spawn Ender Pearls, for an example. So, if we did want to teleport, we do actually need to spawn the Ender Pearls. So, to be honest, there's nothing really specifically unique about using the Enderman in terms of teleportation because we don't actually spawn with ender pearls or the ability to use them without ender pearls so i'm going to set my game to survival because we're chilling as an enderman no hostile mobs will attack us and in survival mode we can throw ender pearls okay right i'm glitching what's happening here <laughs> this ender pearl didn't work out right so we can throw ender pearls and we can just teleport like we usually would the only downside is though is you still lose a ton of health even if we're playing as the enderman we're still going to lose tons of health by using an ender pearl so it's best just to throw it in the water even though for some reason in like a two or three block high water block has still died. But we'll respawn as the Enderman. Now how cool does this look? Literally playing as an Enderman in Minecraft. Now yet again with the whole abilities thing, there's a little bit of a downside in the fact that we can't pick up blocks. Like we can pick up a block just by breaking it and then we can hold the block, but he doesn't hold the block like an Enderman would. So he doesn't have the Enderman animation where he's like holding the block outwards, which is kind of annoying. So we can't pick up blocks off the ground with right click or anything, which is kind of a shame. But we can butcher these sheep as an Enderman. Like literally, I'm punching as an Enderman right now. How cool is that? And then I can just place blocks down. Now, like I said before, Endermen get hurt when they go in water. So if I would just sprint, like look how cool this is, sprint is as Enderman. If I would just sprint and then yeet off into the water, I will lose health just from being in the water as an Enderman. Like I'm losing half a heart every millisecond basically, or every half a second. Like, that's how much damage they take from water. I never knew this about Enderman. Apparently, they're allergic to water. They have a water allergy. Apparently, it messes up with the uh, the space-time continuum and they can't teleport properly. So, apparently, we get hurt by water, which kind of sucks. But we can teleport as an Enderman. And if we go into the inventory, you can see just how big the Enderman model is. Like, it shows the model in the inventory too, instead of the player. And you can look super creepy in the distance. Like, when you see Enderman... We can be the ones that look super creepy. Now, with Enderman, there's a special way. I can't remember how to do it. There's like... There we go. Okay, I've done it. I don't know how I did that, but you can open the mouth. Like, look how cool that is. Like, when Enderman open the mouth, we can open the mouth. Just like that. Okay, I don't know how I did that now. There we go. I think you just spam click shift and it just does this but look how cool that is that's when you attack enderman and they get aggroed onto you and then they get like really hostile and fierce and they just open the jaws so you can do that in the mod 
I'm going to play as a chicken in Minecraft. So look at the Enderman transforming into a chicken. You can even hear the Enderman's bones break. So the chicken, as you can see, let's look at the chicken's abilities. So he has this like parachute ability and what this means is he can float. So this lets the chicken basically slowly fall downwards. So he has the float ability. So you can see we spawn with two hearts, which isn't much at all. I only have one heart right now. And we can stray from side to side pretty quick. I mean, look, we're literally a chicken in Minecraft. Like, <laughs> how awesome is that? Now, I don't think we can lay eggs, unfortunately. It's not like... It doesn't give us the ability to lay eggs unless we would literally go into the inventory, spawn some eggs, and just drop them. Okay, that's probably the best we're going to get. Look, I'm a chicken and I'm laying eggs in Minecraft. <laughs> so we would just have to Q drop them. Apparently, this chicken literally just fires out eggs. Oh, damn, it's raining. Okay, the chicken needs to run. Wait, I can throw them as well. I can throw the eggs as a chicken and I can make chicken babies. Look, I have little chicken hatchlings. Look, I have two little chicken hatchlings. This is actually pretty cool. I don't think they follow me, though. Also, one of them's despawn. Oh, he's here. <laughs> I'm literally punching a chicken hatchling as a chicken. But yeah, basically, if you jump, it makes you float and flap your wings. Kind of like this, which is kind of cool. But we can also float and hold space to glide. So we can kind of glide across water. And if you hold space, they'll also float in the water and not sink. So it performs exactly like the mob would perform, which is super cool. So we can literally morph into a chicken. Now, if you go in first person mode, because I've been in third person, look how low to the ground we are. Chickens, they don't have like an extra block space. So it's almost like we're crawling on the floor and it's just really trippy and weird. From the first person perspective, playing as a chicken, it just doesn't feel right. Like, imagine playing Minecraft Survival as a chicken. I mean, we are in survival mode. Let's see what we can do in survival mode. Look, we can actually break blocks as a chicken. And not only that, we're actually so short, we can actually walk under the blocks because we're only one block high. So we can make a little nest under this tree. Or we could, like, make a little nest underground and then just hide in it. This would be perfect for, like, a Minecraft manhunt. Like, you could just play as a chicken and just hide in one block and no one would ever find you. I'm going to be playing as a zombie. So you'll see the zombie has three different abilities. So the first one means that obviously zombies won't be attacked by hostile mobs. The second one has this weird set of two players that you can see. This is fear, okay? So basically villagers will run away from you because you're a zombie. And the flames just means that you're going to get sunburn. I mean, this is a chicken transforming into a zombie. Look at this. But the flame damage from the sun is actually quite high. Like, you can see I died pretty quickly from that. And it's going to keep going. So, I'm literally a zombie on fire. I mean, it looks cool, but it's definitely not fun to play with. This is how zombies feel like in Minecraft. We're blessed to be playing as a non-zombie. Because zombies literally can't go out in the daylight. But... There's a little fix for this, because if we set it to midnight, I am going to still burn because I'm already on fire. But at some point, when I respawn, we're not going to take damage anymore. And now we can actually see in the dark because I've turned up my brightness. Okay, so let's spawn a villager egg. Look at this, okay? Villagers will run away from me. Look at this. Look how cool this feature is. Apparently, I'm so scary as a zombie that villagers will literally run away from me. Look at this. And when we attack, he kind of like swipes his arms. So they do have custom attack animations. So I could literally just cause terror on these villagers and just punch them. Except even though I'm a zombie, I still don't really do much extra damage than Steve does. Because villagers can take like 20 punches. Like, I would expect if I'm a zombie to hit these villagers like a truck and kill them with ease. But apparently these guys have more body armor than a SWAT team's bulletproof vest. Oh, wait. Okay, I just killed a villager. And you see where it went black and it kind of disintegrated? That means that I've got the villagers morph. So I can become a villager. I've, I've killed this guy and taken his identity. Now, that sounds pretty warped and sick, especially for a Minecraft mod. But I guess that's just how this mod works. So this is a zombie. Next up is Iron Golem. So the Iron Golem, we're going to go from being a zombie to an iron golem so we're gonna go from a foe to a friend not a friend to a foe i'm gonna be playing as the creeper the creeper has the hostile mobs ability so hostile mobs don't attack creepers and you can see this is actually pretty cool look i'm chilling as a creeper if we punch a villager he just gets hurt but nothing happens and i can even trade with a villager as a creeper like even creepers apparently villagers know that this creeper's like friendly so they just want to trade with me like they're not scared of me for some reason but yeah again just like the enderman in this mod i can't use any kind of ability like to explode so that kind of sucks so i would literally have to spawn a tnt spawn a lever place said tnt down place said lever activate it run away and then 
be caught in the radius of the TNT explosion to make it look like I've blown up as a creeper. That's how complicated we have to make it because we can't actually explode with the mod. So that's going to have to cut it. He will burn in the daylight and villagers will be scared of him. And look, look at this skeleton, dude. He, he's basically a zombie unless you have a bow. So if I would spawn myself a bow and then spawn myself some arrows, you can see the bow goes perfectly in the skeleton's hand. Like he, he looks like a normal skeleton, right? And he performs like a skeleton. So... If we go out from under the tree where there's no shade, we're going to start taking damage, okay? Which sucks. But luckily for us, we have our godly powers. So we can set it to nighttime and bend the rules of Mother Nature because we're in creative mode and we have mods and cheats. So the world, fortunately for us, revolves around us. And look, the villagers, they don't run away, okay? For some reason, they only run away from zombies. They don't care about skeletons. So we can just, we can just shoot this guy in the ocean. Okay, wait, will this villager actually drown? Oh my god, okay. I, I feel evil already. And there was some <laughs> there was some evil music at the same time. Oh, okay. I shoot him with an arrow. I shoot him with two arrows. And he still wants to trade with me. 2000 IQ or what? Okay. Well, oh, okay, we got another morph. So apparently we can become different types of villagers. So there's not just one villager as a morph. So yeah, this is a skeleton. Probably one of the coolest mobs. And also you can sprint as a skeleton. Now, I'm kind of happy that this is just a feature in the morph mod. For anyone who doesn't know, I absolutely hate skeletons in Minecraft. If skeletons could sprint after me in Minecraft, I think I would uninstall the game or just play forever in creative mode. Because I hate skeletons, especially in RL craft. Because skeletons, they just hit you like a truck if they have a power bow. Goodbye, cruel sheep. Goodbye, cruel world. They have the hostile mobs ability, so nothing will hurt us. And they also have the climb ability. So if you hold forwards, you can climb straight up a vertical wall. So not only can we climb up things, we can turn from a skeleton into a spider and basically be Spider-Man. And look, look at this creepy crawly thing. This is a this is a trigger warning. If anyone has a phobia of spiders, don't watch because we're going to go on an absolute rampage here. And not only this, but we can use a bow as a spider. But what makes this super dangerous is the arrows come out of our eyes and they can't see us holding the bow. So we could just come out from under this tree and take someone by surprise and they would be none the wiser because apparently the spider doesn't actually hold things so it's invisible so we could be crawling on our prey over here and we could see the sheep oh wait wait this why is this skeleton attacking me i'm supposed to be a skeleton's friend okay this is not right we have the hostile mobs ability why is the skeleton attacking me it doesn't recognize that i'm a friendly neighborhood spider and that sheep didn't know it was even coming. What about this creeper? I wonder if this creeper will attack his friendly f spider friend. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Oh. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> I guess he tried to explode me. Okay, I, I think the game's not recognizing this morph. I mean, the cows realize that I'm a threat, but the skeletons don't realize that I'm a friend. Okay, just like the spider, we have the cave spider. Okay, but this has a different ability. So you can see over here, there's this heart with a little shape in it. But also, there's a little skull and crossbones with a cross over it, and this means that I get poison resistance. So I basically take less damage to poison, and I'm also like a mini tiny cave spider. Like, look at this dude. <laughs> He's just chilling, like crawling on the floor. But it looks really weird because when we attack and punch with him, he punches with like this weird like leg, like one of his spider legs, but... It just doesn't look right. Like this is just this is not how it's supposed to be. Also, when I was playing a spider before, I didn't show you how to climb. If you walk up directly on a surface as a spider, you can climb up it. Now we can't actually punch anything though. Look, as a spider, for some reason, unlike the other mobs, we can't actually break wood. So I, I can't do anything as a spider. All I can do is just basically be a creepy crawly and like run super fast. The front view looks pretty cool. The first person mode is just weird. I think the third person mode is the best. Okay. Now, let's go up to the sheep. So this sheep doesn't really, like, do much. But when we punch him, look, what's interesting is we actually poison him. So he does actually have poison. So the cave spider does actually function how it's supposed to. So this is definitely one of the coolest mobs because we can attack things and poison them. And they'll just start to lose health. But we can test this for ourselves. Look, so if we spawn a poison potion and we drink it, it'll give us the poison effect, right? But it will take one immediate half a heart of damage and then it'll stop. Let's just, let's do a splash potion. Look, the splash potion won't even make us lose health. It's only because we directly drank the normal potion that we even lost the health. Because these guys are immune to poison. Also, look at this kid just chilling. Like this little villager kid, where do you come from? Let's poison this villager kid. Let's attack him as, look, he's literally so small we could just eat him as a spider. 
Okay. Bye, villager kid. Sorry about that, bro. Also, one one little uh, fact is an off topic. Why do mini zombies and mini villagers, the children versions, like the tiny versions, why do they have more health or at least more damage than normal ones? I never understood that. Also, he just survived poison, so we're going to have to strike him down. So the gas can fly. So you double tap jump to enter creative flight mode when you play as the gas. But you can't actually do this unless you enter the nether. Okay, he also has immunity to fire and lava, which is very fitting for being in the nether. Oh, okay. I just died as the slime again. And he also is uh, not attacked by hostile mobs. We can't spawn as the ghast unless we go in the nether. So, we're going to have to go in creative mode and build ourselves a nether portal for this. Because I think certain mobs are restricted to certain areas in the game. I mean, which makes sense. Because unless they escape from a portal... You don't usually tend to see gas just roaming out of the nether, do you? So, let's make ourselves a portal and let's go in the nether first. Boom! Okay, let's light this bad boy and go inside. Okay, we've changed dimensions, but everything's pitch black and I can't see a thing. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now we need to find a place with space. I hate these nether spawns where you spawn in like a tiny cavern. I can already hear gas as well, like other gas. I hate when you spawn in a tiny cavern because you don't know where the actual rest of the nether world is. Like we could just be, we could just be going for miles. Okay, I hear a gas. I don't know if I'm supposed to go up or down. <gasps> Wait, okay, I've reached lava. I think I'm underground. Okay, I hear more gas, but I don't know where they are. Okay, we can see where our block height is. I don't know where we, okay. All right, I think we've gone too far. We're literally, <laughs> we're literally on the roof of the nether. But this should still work, right? Can we become a ghast? Okay, wait, we can become a ghast. Hey. Okay, this is strange because the ghast is small. Wait, let's go into normal survival mode just to make sure the flight mode works. So if we double tap space, we can fly as a ghast, okay? Now, as you can see, the camera is kind of dodgy. I mean, we can see the ghast just big gaping open mouth here. Um, so, yeah. We can't, unfortunately, do anything. Like, we can't use fireballs. So I'm not really sure uh, what we could do. Actually, I've got an idea. What you could do actually is if you were playing in Minecraft in a newer version, you could use flame arrows and that would kind of be nearly as good as the fireballs from a gas. But we can't use fireballs. So we can just literally fly as the gas and do nothing else. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty basic. It's not very, uh, not very impressive. And then we can just plummet from the sky as a ghast. Okay, I found my way into the actual nether now, so hopefully we should actually be able to do better stuff. Next, we'll play as the zombie piglin, okay? Or the zombie pigman, because we're in 1.7.10, back when piglins didn't exist. So we're going back to the OG days of Minecraft here. So these are hostile mobs, and they're immune to fire damage. That's basically it. To make things a little bit more realistic, we could spawn ourselves a gold sword. So now we look like a real zombie pigman. Look at that. We're playing as a real zombie pigman now with gold sword and zombie pigmen they don't usually sprint okay they just kind of wander maybe we can find some more zombie pigmen also this one ghast has been screaming and squealing for like 10 minutes it's really doing my head in oh snap okay we find more zombie pigmen so these guys these guys are just chilling right so let's go in survival mode because we've got to live in the real experience here oh okay so the ghast doesn't recognize i'm an ally so this is slightly glitched, huh? So the gas still attacks me. What about these guys? Okay, if I attack one zombie piglin, they will all attack me and kill me. They don't recognize me as a friend. I feel quite rejected right now. Whichever creature which I turn into, they all just try and kill me, even though I'm supposed to be a friend. So if we jump, he will just kind of hop up and down. But if you double tap space, we can actually fly as the bat. And it's also nighttime as well, so that makes sense. So we can actually just chill as the bat, fly up and down this river. And what would be really cool, because obviously we're using the morph mod, what's really cool about playing as the bat is you could kind of like role play like as a vampire or like a bat turned into a vampire. We could be we could be flying around in the night and then we could hover down and land. And then what you could do is you could quickly, as you're landing, if you're quick enough that is, drop and then morph into a player. How cool does that look? We've morphed into a player and now I'm playing as the Blue Crusader again with my own skin. And we've just transformed into a bat and then out of a bat. So we've like become like some shapeshifter vampire. That's super cool. But yeah, the bat doesn't really do much other than just flying. It would be cool if they made the sounds playable so we could like make the the sounds and maybe have like an echo location ability. But unfortunately, that's kind of where the complexity ends. Next up is the witch. Okay, so we can transform into a witch. So if you ever, ever want to play a witch in Minecraft, 
this is basically what it feels like. Now the witch can't do anything, she can't manipulate blocks for some reason, but she can hurt things. Now just like the Enderman, you do actually need to spawn potions if you want to use them. So if you want to be a witch, you would have to spawn poison potions or something like that. And for some reason this chicken basically takes no damage from poison. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's like he's immune to it. Okay. But not only do witches have poison, they also have health potions. So you could also spawn some splash potions of health, or you could just drink normal health potions. And I've poisoned myself, which is something which witches always do. So you know this makes sense. Okay, let's kill this cow and use him for my brew. Use him for a special potion. So if we were a true witch, we would be in a swamp biome, which we're not. And we'd spawn a brewing stand, and we'd spawn a cauldron. And we'd fill said cauldron with water. So now we have a cauldron with water. And we'd fill our brewing stand with water bottles. And fill the brewing stand with blaze powder. And we'll create our evil potions as a witch. Now, brewing stands are far more complex than the newer versions. We're playing on 1.7.10. So there's literally one slot here for stuff. You guys all know that in the newer version of Minecraft, there's like two or three slots. So you can make more complex potions. I actually forgot potions were so much more simpler back in the day. And we've created mundane potions with no effects. So I'm not a very successful witch. So, I think I'm just going to sacrifice myself because <laughs> we're not very good at magic. A silverfish, yet again, he doesn't really have any special abilities apart from running super fast. Like, the silverfish can sprint. It's just like if we were playing a rat in Minecraft, okay? Now, he can't really do much. Like, you can see in the ability list, there's nothing really that makes him special. He, he just is immune to being attacked by hostile mobs, which we've seen hasn't always been working the best has it because other hostile mobs have tried to strike me down which so that didn't really work out well for me we can do a few things i mean we can place blocks and do stuff like that but we can't actually break blocks so just like the cave spider we can't actually do anything with blocks we can only place them so if we have blocks we can place them we can drop items but we can't do anything with them and obviously we can pick them up again we can attack things, so I can actually punch this chicken. <laughs> That's so weird, like having a, a chicken versus silverfish duel. That's something which I never thought I would see in Minecraft. But we have four hearts, so we're more tanky than a mini slime, which had half a heart, but our abilities are very limited. So playing as a silverfish is quite the strange experience. Iron Golem. So the Iron Golem, we're going to go from being a zombie to an Iron Golem. So we're going to go from a foe to a friend, not a friend to a foe. So it's the other way around. This guy has three abilities. So he has the fall ability, which means he takes no fall damage. He negates fall damage. He also has the little drowning man. And that means that he can breathe underwater, but he can't breathe above water but he also has increased sp swim speed. And then also the last one is sink. So the iron golem will sink underwater. Look how cool this is, man. Turning from a zombie into an iron golem, I've completely transformed. I feel like I'm playing Dragon Ball Z right now. Like I I've just, I've just gone into like the Super Saiyan God form or something. Okay, so I went from being a friend of a zombie to a foe of a zombie. So I'm gonna have to kill these. Oh snap, these zombies are hitting me, man. I honestly didn't think iron golems would take this much damage from a zombie. Okay, this is going to be a tough fight. The only thing that I've noticed right now, though, that doesn't happen is... You can see I have this Iron Golem fist where I'm punching, right? So this is kind of cool. But one thing that disappoints me about this mod is it doesn't use both the arms to hit up zombies like normal Iron Golems do. Okay, damn, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. Okay, okay. Um, huh, uh, okay, I'm going to switch to creative mode. I've got an idea. Do you remember back when Iron Golem spawn eggs were actually a thing in 1.7.10? Like, you didn't make them with pumpkin and iron, you could just spawn them. Look, look, I have an Iron Golem friend to assist me. And look, look what's the difference. Look, 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 look what's the difference. If I punch him, nothing happens. Look, he just gets knocked back. But if this dude punches someone, it looks way more cool. Wait, I'm actually waiting for him to do something, because <laughs> he's being absolutely useless. Look at that, he uses both his arms and swings the thing up. Look how much cooler that is than what Minecraft gives me. I'm like, I'm like a Fisher-Price Best Buy version of that Iron Golem. Like, I have limited abilities. But like I said before, we can kind of like breathe underwater because we're not an organic life form. I mean, we're not exactly human, but we sink. Fortunately for us, we can walk up blocks. We can walk up like one extra high set of blocks when we're underwater so we can get out of the water. We don't drown, but it's kind of a bit annoying. Like you drop like lead in the ocean pretty much. So the magma cube, as you can see, has fire immunity. He sinks in the water and he takes no fall damage. So we'll transform into a magma cube. 
So just like the slime, he will kind of hop, but he has that cool animation where the whole magma cube splits into multiple parts and bounces up and down like jelly. So this is really cool why the morph mod actually is a really nice mod because they do have the animations in. Unfortunately, certain abilities you can't always use. It's not a perfect mod, but this is awesome, except the iron golem's a little bit too much of a challenge for us. I probably should have attacked something weaker. What about a fish? Okay, I just called a sheep a fish. <laughs> that, that was not right. What about the sheep? So when we attack the sheep, he doesn't take fire damage. I was expecting him to burn. But yeah, it takes quite a few hits to kill him too. I've noticed that most of these mobs are weak. The magma cube is rather weak. What happens when we go in water? Okay, so we can't float and we get sink to the bottom. Just like soap sinks to the bottom of the bath. Yeah, it's like we're made out of 100 pounds of steel or something. But we can slowly rise from the ashes and get out of the water and then unfortunately die. So next up I'm going to play as the slime. Now you can see there's two different variants of the slime. We can play as the small slime or we can play as the big slime. Now you can see if we hold shift and press the square brackets we can cycle through the different morphs. So first we're going to go on the normal morph. So this is a hostile mob and he also has the sink ability so you can sink in the water. So this is what a slime looks like and if we hold space he will bounce like a slime. Like look at that. It's like it's like we're literally playing as jelly right now. The only problem is he's a wide boy, so look, he can't even get through like any of the trees unless like you really go through a small gap. So this is just not really uh this is not really gonna cut it to play. But we can size down because we are shapeshifter. We can transform, so we can go to a small one and we can get through tight spots. And we're playing as a small slime, and then we can also play as a tiny slime. Look at this. Look at his tiny slime. This guy is so small. Look at that. <laughs> What happens if we just like jump into the sheep? Does it hurt him? Okay, no, it does It does nothing to the sheep. This is oddly satisfying playing as a slime in Minecraft. And look how small we are. Look, the world is being seen from smaller eyes. This is really strange. This is much stranger than playing as a chicken because we're actually a bouncy boy. Boom. Oh, okay. The slime hit the ground too hard. I would actually like to try swimming. Let's go for a swim at the lake as the slime. What happens? Oh. Okay, we have, so by default, as the as the tiny slime, the small one, we have half a heart. So if we drop off, like, the smallest height, we'll just die. So you have to take baby steps. And look, if we swim in the ocean and we hold space, he tries his best to stay above water, but he's just going to keep continuously sinking. So next up, I'm going to be playing as a cow in Minecraft. So I would say, possibly, the cow is the most useless morph in the whole mod. Literally, literally, the cow can't do anything. He can sprint. Like, you never really see cows sprint unless you, like, punch them. I guess I could lay an egg as a cow. Look at that. Creepers still attack us, though. That's one thing to take into mind. Now, we're just a humble cow just chilling in the forest. Now, even though we're a cow, apparently we can speak human because we can go up to this villager and right-click on him and trade with him because apparently the villager understands the cow language in Minecraft, which is pretty funny. So, apparently we're like some human talking cow who can converse with villagers. But yeah, basically the cow does nothing, guys. He, he has no abilities. We can't even eat grass. Like, we can drop items. I, I mean, I guess if we wanted to take things to a whole new level we could literally be like the smartest cow in the game like we could be a pro at minecraft as just a cow like look we could build a house as a cow like look at that uh, don't expect anything fancy okay this is this is the first house that the cow's building in minecraft I, I, i'm not exactly known for my uh for my good builds in minecraft okay but look we have a house we built a house as a cow out of dirt I mean, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. I mean, we're not even a, a person, we're a cow, okay? So, yeah, nothing much else to say about cows in Minecraft. I mean, if you go on the morph menu, they literally don't even have abilities. So, <laughs> not really gonna cut it. Now, the reason why I chose the horse next is he has a unique ability which the others haven't actually used. Now, you can see we're a horse. We can just hop up and down, you know, like horses do in Minecraft. <laughs> Um, and we can sprint, which is pretty cool. Also, if we go in first person, we have a horse hoof, which is just always being held in the sky which is definitely not realistic <laughs> so we can hit stuff with the horse hoof we can't break blocks i think my game at this stage is just glitched okay i think the reason why i couldn't break blocks all this time is i was in adventure mode completely forgot about that so there's been a little bit of misinformation in this video when all the other morphs probably could break blocks but i was just being stupid so we're in survival mode again so we're playing as a horse now what makes the horses interesting is they have an ability called step so this increases the stepping height so they can step one block up without jumping so usually we'd have to jump up a block like this but with horses we can just walk directly up 
This is just a feature which should be in the game anyway. Like, there's mods to do this in Minecraft. Horses have things easy. Look, we can just walk straight up this piece of wall. But yeah, that's all they're useful for, to be honest. I mean, it would be nice if we could, like, drink water or something from the ocean. But yeah, that, that, that's, that's really how useful horses are. Not very at all. And then also villagers. So I can play as a villager. You can see over here, we have different villager skins, okay? Which are the different villagers which we've killed and stolen the soul. Which sounds pretty sick, but like I said, this is how this mod works. So we can become a villager. So we can become a, a set amount of villagers. You know, the different kinds which we've explored and found in the wild. And villagers are just like normal humans, except they take more damage than Steve. Because you can see the zombie is absolutely eviscerating me. But we can fight back, okay? Because normal villagers run away, but I'm a special villager, okay? I'm a morphed villager, so I can actually fight back. Now, when I say I can fight back, it doesn't mean I'm actually going to win. But I'm going to go down with a fight, and at least I'm going to try. Because this... Oh, wait, I actually won. Okay, let's eat a potato to celebrate. And then let's eat some rotten flesh, which will probably kill us. Okay. So that's probably the first time you've seen a villager actually win a fight. This guy's been playing on some serious Minecraft PvP servers. He's been training for this moment. So yeah, the villagers can't actually do anything in terms of professions and skills. I'm playing as a custom villager who should have a profession if we encounter him in the world. Oh, okay, creeper. Okay, our villager's wearing like a bulletproof vest or something because he didn't die from that explosion. So yeah, I can't actually trade with people, which is slightly unfortunate. Uh, it, wouldn't it be cool if like we flipped over the roles and instead of you trading with villagers, you played as a villager and traded your stuff to other people? That would be so cool. But unfortunately, we can't do that. You could kind of spawn items and then be like, oh, Iron Golem, you want to give me some emeralds? Okay, here's your, your items in return and then drop them stuff. But that doesn't really work as well. And the Iron Golem doesn't want my items. He, he's just ignoring me and walking away. How about we test him for his loyalty? Let's spawn a zombie. Will he protect me from an army of zombies trying to kill me? I will swim in the water. Will the Iron Golem kill them for me and fight for my honor? Okay, he's actually <laughs> he's actually slaughtering them all. Oh, Jeez, this dude's an absolute unit. He's just standing still chilling. Like, these zombies are just not phasing him. And as soon as they walk up to him, like, he just yeets them. Look at this. Okay, kill the last one, dude. Okay, you've earned a piece of rotten flesh as a reward, and all these zombie eggs. In the mod, there is some more stuff, like there's also the snow golem, which I think if we turn into a snow golem, the iron golem will kill us, right? Is a snow golem a bad guy? Okay, apparently not. Okay, I drowned. So that's something I've learned. So snow golems are immune to being on land, because they can create snow behind them and sustain themselves, but the moment they touch water and just dip the toe in the water, they die. It's like kryptonite for them. Look at this. And they also sink as well, so it makes it impossible to get out. These guys are super cool to play as, though, because you can see that they create ice behind them and, and snow. So we can turn normal blocks into snowy grass blocks, so we can spread it. It's like in Terraria, like, spreading corruption. We're just spreading the snow biome wherever we move. Someone needs to stop this man, stop the snow golem from spreading. Spreading his infectious disease. Most of these mobs <laughs> lose their interest after like 30 seconds though when you realize that you can't actually do that much more than what you usually can as Steve. Like I'm not here to make a 20 minute video about just playing the snow golem because there's, <laughs> there's literally not much we can do. I'm sure some other YouTubers would make like a 30 minute video playing the snow golem in Minecraft. Except after one minute I realized that snow being trailed behind me is really not that entertaining <laughs> and as you can see i haven't covered every single mob you can see we do have ocelots and we do have mushrooms so i'm just going to quickly show you what they look like and morphing into them i'm not going to show you the actual ability since they don't really have any unique abilities that i haven't shown yet so we have the mushroom we also have the mushroom transforming into the ocelot then we also have the wolf so if you want to be someone's pet or play a multiplayer and like play as a dog, if that's what floats your boat, then I guess you can. You can also play as a squid. Okay, why did everything go super foggy when I played as the squid? Damn, the squid's actually kind of cool. Damn, dude, swimming as the squid, that's awesome. So the squids actually move pretty quick as well. Like you can sprint underwater. I don't quite remember squids moving this fast though in Minecraft. I think this is like a myth or a legend. This is like a giant squid myth. The evil squid of the Minecraft oceans. You only ever see once in a lifetime, doing barrel rolls and running 30 miles an hour. There's also the more basic mobs, which I didn't show you. So we have a normal sheep. 
We also have a pig. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button and let me know what you thought about the mod. You can also download the mod link down below in the description. Make sure to give the video a like and subscribe with notifications turned on for some more Minecraft videos really soon. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.